Hi, welcome to the KD Cyber Talks. In this video, we will discuss about the audit reports SSA 18, SOC 1, SOC 2, SOC 3, and uh, the Type 1, Type 2 report. This discussion will be followed by some practice questions on these topics. This will help you to prepare for the CCSP exam. Please subscribe to the channel if not yet done. So what is the audit report? Any artifact that describes the findings from the audit and explain the audit auditor's opinion of the system that was examined. For example, if you, if you audit any deployment and uh, you have reviewed the design and uh, accordingly you have provided your analysis and then the recommendation, what is your opinion, what are the gaps and what should be done further. That is uh, all covered in the audit reports. Um, SAS 70, we have, uh, uh, the SAS 70, it was one of the, uh, 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 the report, which was later replaced by uh, SOC type 1 and type 2. Uh, this was replaced by SOC uh, type 1 and type 2. Okay, so remember from the exam point of view, this SAS 70 is no more in use and SOC type 1 and type 2 are. SSA 18, it is um, the, uh, this is basically the, the, the kind of uh, SOC standard and SOC is part of SSA reporting format which was created by um, AICPE, CPA. This is... Um, American Institute of Certified Public Accountants. So, SSA 18 is the current standard, current audit standard, just remember that. And um, then further, we have uh, the Service Organization Control, SOC. There are three types, SOC 1, SOC 2, SOC 3. SOC 1 is uh, primarily, it is being used for um, in uh, in the financial focuses, for example, if you are providing any payroll information, uh, payroll um, um, services, uh, the SOC 1 may be required to do the business because uh, for the financial statements and controls in place, you need to uh, uh, define, you need to uh, audit and you need to define according to the controls there. Um, SOC 2, it is typically requested when you are hosting or processing any other type of information for the clients, uh, for the customers. Um, SOC 2 reports are only provided to the, uh, to the customers and require an NDA to be signed. Also, the, the cloud vendors uh, will probably never share um, a SOC 2 type 2 report. So, we have uh, two types here, um, one is the type 1 and type 2. So, for type 1 can be shared here, um, like if, if we talk about type 1, it can be shared under NDA. If you talk about uh, type 2 report, this can never be shared with any customer because this has more details. So, what is the difference between type 1 and type 2 report, which is applicable for SOC 1 and SOC 2? So, type 1 report, this describes the controls to meet the uh, criteria, whether we have etiquette controls in place or not. Uh, this is a kind of uh, compliance or metrics that you can uh, check. But if at all, you have to check the effectiveness of those controls that is covered in type 2 report. And this is where this cannot be shared because this has much more uh, details in that uh, SOC report. SOC 3, um, yeah, one more point is related to the SOC 2. Uh, the SOC 2 report is, is, is working on the five principles like uh, security, availability, integrity, confidentiality, and privacy. Just remember from the exam point of view that these are the five principles on which the SOC 2 report works. SOC 3 report, um, trust service criteria for the general use report. Um, this is basically uh, for the general use, like for the marketing purpose or uh, shared as a white paper. And uh, this is usually is to upload on the uh, websites, okay. That means this is, this is for the general use purpose and all the uh, investors or all the customers or 
partners, everybody can see this report freely because this is available in public. Now let us take a look on some questions so that uh, we have uh, now the better quality from recap point of view this is, uh, this is all on the audit reports. Let us take a look on the question. So SOC reports are the audit tools promulgated by um, AICPA. Uh, as an IT security professional, when reviewing the SOC reports for a cloud provider, which report would you most like to see? Now, try to identify some uh, keywords here. Uh, we have SOC report, of course, we are talking the SOC reports in the, in the um, options. And as an IT security professional, this is the keyword that we need to uh, check in the question when reviewing the SOC report for a cloud provider. So here this IT security professional is reviewing the SOC report for a cloud provider. So which report would you like to see here? As a security professional, I don't uh, want to look at the SOC 1. I don't want to look at SOC 3. Now I have uh, type 1 and type 2, but as a security professional, I would not be uh, just looking at the metrics or the checklist. I would be more interested into the type 2 report, which has, uh, which, which talks about more, uh, you know, those security controls, effectiveness. So uh, the correct answer is SOC 2 type 2 report. Um, SSA uh, 18 SOC uh, report are audit tools uh, promulgated by AICPA. As an investor, when reviewing the SOC report for a cloud provider, which report would you most like to see here? Similar uh, language, but here again, we have the keyword as an investor. So what is applicable for investors? So we had three reports. SOC 1, SOC 2, SOC 3. SOC 1 is for the financial statements, SOC 2 is for the, um, uh, for the security controls, SOC 3 is uh, for the general pub public. So now um, we are left with, for example, um, here the option A because as an investor all I care about the SOC 1. I don't care about the security controls. I don't care about uh, the details effectiveness. I don't care about what is shared on the web portal. I care about the financial statements. Okay. Next is which of the following is a uh, um, report used to access the implementation and effectiveness of the security controls. So we discussed SOC 1, SOC 2, SOC 3 reports. SOC 1 is for the financial statements. SOC 2 is for security control. SOC 3 is for the general use. So here we, uh, the keyword is to assess the implementation and effectiveness of the security controls. So we're left with SOC 2 report. We have two type 1 and type 2. Now we have effectiveness. So we are left with option type 2. SOC 2 type 2 is the correct answer here. An audit against the any one of these reporting mechanism will demonstrate that an organization has an etiquette security controls uh, designs in place. So etiquette security controls is the keyword. Okay, this is just a checklist, whether you have this, whether you have this. Okay, for that purpose, SOC 2 type 1 is the report. Because SOC 1 is for financial statements and type 2 is for effectiveness and SOC 3 is for general use. So these are not the answer, of course. And correct answer is SOC 2 type 1. So, uh, which statement, uh, which SSA 18 report is purposefully designed for the public release, for instance, to be posted on a 
company's website? I'm sure you must have guessed this answer. SOC 1 is for the financial statements, SOC 2 is for security controls and SOC 3 is for the general use of course to be hosted on the, on the web portal or the website for the public um, usage. So here the correct answer is SOC 3. Okay. I hope you, uh, you understood the concept of the audit report, SOC report, type 1, type 2, etc. And these questions must have give you the better understanding of, uh, of, of these uh, concepts. Thanks for watching. Follow me on uh, Twitter or connect me in the uh, LinkedIn. Uh, the links are given in the description of the video. Thanks for watching. Thank you.